Good morning, ESM. I'm Gabby. And I'm Isabel. Let's kick things off today with Josh with news. This week saw that Trump's campaign revving up after the startling due to Trump testing positive with COVID. However, the Democratic campaign has now taken a hit with Vice President nominee Kamala Harris halting travel with two of the key staffers testing positive for COVID. Herself has not tested positive. Last night, President Trump, former Vice President Biden, spoke in separate town halls at the same time to NBC News and ABC News, respectively. During the time town hall, when questioned about peaceful transfer of power, said, the answer is yes, I will. When questioned about Cohen, he discovered that nothing about it. During Biden's town hall, when he asked court packing, he said, I'm not a fan, but it depends on how this turns out. Then it will be decided on election day, depending on how they handle this. When asked whether to support crime or legislation and have called responsible for increased imprisonment, especially among minority men, it was a mistake that Biden said, yes, it was. But there was a mistake came. The mistake came from what states did locally. Yesterday, Judge Amy Coney Barrett Supreme Court's hearing finished a Republicans to map out each path to place the court before Election Day. Senators asked Barrett about her judicial philosophy, abortion voting rights, the Affordable Care Act, and the controversial issue that came out to court. She dodged an answering question with disputable issues. While swearing to keep an open mind about the issue, Barrett required an approval for the majority of the committee in the Senate. Both of them were controlled by Republicans. The panel will meet up again on Thursday, October 22nd to officially vote. If she approved by the panel, the full Senate will consider her. A ringtail lemur was stolen last night from the San Francisco Zoo. The 21-year-old endangered animal needs a spe special diet and will be very sick very quickly. A, a previous kidnapper in 2018, an Aquantus Casper, who broke and took the monkey for a pet, when he did not success, he took the lemur and returned it to Newport Beach Hotel where it was found in plastic container with the note saying it belonged to the zoo. Aquinas Casper is now investigated for the recent crime. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. And to the republic for which it stands. One nation under God. Indivisible with liberty and justice for all. All right, that was news for you guys. Now let's see what Nicole has for weather today. Today will be cloudy with rain showers and have highs in the 50s with a low of 37. Saturday will be chilly with some sun, reaching highs in the mid-50s. Sunday will be breezy with a mix of sun and clouds and have highs in the low to mid-60s. Monday will have a high of 59 and a low of 44 with a few showers. Tuesday will also have a chance for a few showers with highs in the low to mid-60s. Wednesday will be warm with a high of 68 and a low of 50. And Thursday should be mostly dry with some sun and have highs in the mid to upper 60s. I'm Nicole with your weather. Thanks, Nicole. Tonight, the girls' varsity soccer team has their senior night against Oswego. Lena, what other sports are going on today? <laughs> In upcoming games, both the girls' and boys' soccer teams play Oswego tonight at 5. The girls are home for their senior night and the boys are away. The gymnastics team also has a meet against Central Square. The field hockey team lost in a tough match against Liverpool yesterday 2-1 with Olivia Grabowski scoring the only goal for ESM. The girls tennis team also lost yesterday. The SU women's soccer played and lost against the North Carolina Tar Heels 2-0 yesterday for their home opener. The SU women's volleyball team will take on Boston College at home. In other news, SU field hockey star 
Florin Van Bolitsier was dubbed Player of the Week by the National Field Hockey Coach Coaches Association. The hottest free agent running back, LeVon Bell, signed a one-year deal with the Kansas City Chiefs yesterday. He will not be playing on Monday due to NFL COVID protocols. The Chiefs play his fo former team, the Jets, in Week 8. In fantasy news, some under-the-radar waiver wire pickups this week include Jets running back Frank Gore, Eagles wide receiver Travis Fulgham, and Cowboys quarterback Andy Dalton. Last night, the hopes for the Houston Astros season is still alive. Carlos Correa hit a walk-off home run at the Houston Astros win 4-3. The have now cut the series to 3-2 against the Tampa Bay Rays. The Atlanta Braves have now taken a commanding 3-1 win against the Los Angeles Dodgers, at la as last night's win puts them one game away from the World Series. I'm Lena with sports. That's our show today. That's it. Thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs>